on the Dazzle, and we have, uh, last but not least, Crush on the Tank Hunter. So, X uh, wants to play it cool for a bit, Tango shared. It's gonna be a hang around here. So they drop a sentry ward inside this uh, inside this camp. So I think it will battle. block up some of that jungle farming that X might be looking to do here. Does not seem to be the case. Usually you do it with solves, if I'm not wrong. Anti mage mid, I love it. I love it. Do we see tanky mage? Era mid anti mage versus Venomancer. That's not gonna be a very fun lineup though. Uh, wait, who's going mid? Yeah, Venomancer mid. So it's not gonna be fun for anti mage. Definitely not gonna be fun. I don't know why there was a mid anti mage um, being thought of here. So I don't know if that's the right choice. The bounty rune is gonna be spotted out. The disruptor is gonna collect himself a hundred bucks, and so will Terrorblade. Going to the off lane with Dazzle. That is new. That is certainly new. Ventral Spirit heading up there herself. So Venge, Dazzle, and Terrorblade up top. Trying to dodge whatever funny nonsense the Viper is coming to throw there. Where we have the Disruptor and Witch Doctor on standby going for the aggressive tri lanes as well. So the meta has really shifted a lot since the last time I saw this game. And I can't say I am disappointed. This is a very, very fun meta to be in right now. Poison Sting is going to be super annoying for Venomance, uh, for Anti Mage. But on the bright side, it should not be as much trouble error. Should be uh, saving a uh, skill point. And the point thing is really being annoying right now. Oh, there's a stun on Jonas. Jonas taking some right clicks to the face. Will not be dying here. Uh, the style shield and the ring of protection mitigating a lot of that incoming right click. But so far, we have two and two. We'll try not to miss first blood this time around. They walk around. They miss Shaklo there. Shaklo's gonna spit a little bit onto Seal Kid. So the Doctor is gonna find himself poisoned. And Titanta versus Viper. I wonder which one this matchup favors. Probably the Viper, because Viper crushes anyone that is non-ranged uh, non and you already can see. Losing a lot of life there. And he really wants to fight this out. Looking for that anchor smash. Just smacking the Viper. I'm not sure this might be the right cause of action. Anti-Mage says one second. All right, your second is up. Got some speed. Bike split up with mine, ping 199. But then again, they are playing on EU, so it isn't really my. Uh, it really isn't my uh, my issue here. I mean, from a caster's perspective, it doesn't matter that much. So, Nico, Dazzle, gonna be hanging around here. Oh, yes, yes, look at effigies. Taco del Ap Ipkit. Taco del Ipkit. Wood. Taco? Okay, I want a taco. Alright, let's go back in there. Anti mage burning some of that shaklo mana. Error. Just playing it aggressive here. And we have the Terror Blade gonna have some company coming his way. We have got sentry wards being plopped down, looking for the observer wards. Unfortunately, I think they have just been blocked with the body. Not so sure if that's the case. They spot out the witch doctor. Sentry wards plopped down to prevent any kind of peeking or you know, peeping toms. Right now, we have about nearly two minutes in. We have Era leading the top uh, CS charts along with Terrorblade. Nine and three, nine and three. We have Viper sitting at six four. We have Soneko coming up forward to take a last hit. I'm not sure if he's land now. He didn't. So zero zero bounty rune on the bottom lane will be fetched up here by the Tide Hunter. So he's gonna have some of that eight mother running out of mana to actually spit at people. So not gonna be as happy. He's a farming X, something I am very excited to see actually. And Era. Already dropping really low despite that poor man shield. The poison is real. And with all the wards coming in, I don't think anti mage will be seeing the top of this creep wave uh, at any rate. And it's pretty painful for them to keep stinging him non stop. And see your bird might be a little bit too close. No, he has a haste rune, so it's fine. And for a moment, I thought eh, a little bit too close with Metamorphosis. Saving a lot of skill points here as well. Uh, Dazzle is looking to rotate in. Jonas fan should be able to take this creep wave alone with his counter helix but saving skills once again terribly holding on to that reflection maybe he wants to go for the conjure image for the more greedy play uh, but instead has decided to keep that point maybe he needs the reflection for a gank reflection is very powerful even despite the nerf to it error taking burns once again going for bottle interesting choice to go for bottle instead of that early ring of health so uh, he will be getting some things though oh could have gone for that blink uh, snipe career maybe but Schlachlo, uh, Schlachlo, not going for any points in kill because he finds it will, uh, he does realize it will be kind of pointless to actually go for it. And Anti-Mage, realizing that the bottle isn't going to be doing him much good, is going to, uh, going to have to be playing it very defensive. The wards are going to be very annoying, that's for sure. And you really see him getting overly pressured here, the Ring of Aquila, ensuring that more right clicks go to him. Venomancer skipping boots for Ring of Aquila, actually. 
a uh, very interesting choice as it does leave him open to ganks because a quick rundown of multiple heroes could take him out especially since he doesn't have Gale to save himself as well so no bailout possible for him no boots to waddle away Venomancer is a naturally slow hero they are going to go for Anscan here they're going to go for the poison touch as well the minus armor coming in ticking in anti-mage jumping in there picks up illusion root that's always nice oh the stun comes out he blinks already he blinks already he is dead first blood goes to J4 Dazzle grave himself TP out as well easy easy pickings there quick plays here seal kit in trouble blood johns they are not having a good time the poison wars is being a Annoying here, the doctor is definitely not going to be enough to this. He's going to be reporting sick for a cold. Did Yara dropping low? Uh, three health, um, level three on him, going no points yet into his first or second skill thus far. Just regening up slowly. It's one and zero in the scoreboard now. Metro Spirit getting a very very good first blood and. A little bit greedy there from the anti-mage, overestimating his blink ability. And now the poison sting comes out, arrow dropping down to low health once again. No, no, no fun for him. Attack. Like I said, Venomancer is really, really, really annoying. Metro Spirit. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Gonna be clarifying up herself. She does have her boots walking in or flying in after this. Uh, it's still on that courier. As always, your safe lane of jacking the courier for his own good. That's gonna be Tranquil Boots? No, oh, it's his bottle. It's his own bottle. So it's gonna go for a bottle. We have uh, Dazzle sitting around. Threats now for the Terror Blade. And we have uh, Tranquil Boots on the Jonas Axe. Last hits favoring the Viper and Venom. So the Poison Boys are on the top now. The two Blade Brothers are no longer in the run for first place on the last hit charts. But it's okay, Venomancer has got this place secured. It's a 3-3 build on the wards and sting. No mercy given whatsoever. It's just so annoying to deal with the wards, man. And Era has played very careful lest he, lest he dies uh, from one wrong step. There's a multiple multitude of TPs here coming in. And they might actually get that kill to Howl Terra. Oh, big plays! Seneco heals the wave on the way out using his Alex. And the new can here comes the Metamorphosis gang. This is a uh, interesting TP. It's like, oh, since we're all here, let us just take down some towers. Yes, boys. All right, there we go. No ring of Basilius will be a little bit tricky for this push. They will actually take it down low enough, or maybe they pop a glyph right now. Would be a good choice to pop Dyer's the glyph right now. There we go. Pop the Dyer's glyph. Special spirit does wreck the creep wave though. That's a command aura as well. So that's a bonus 12. What a terror blade. This uh, disruptor is going in. He might be in a lot of trouble himself. Ah, terror blade destroys him. Right click. Terror blade still very balanced. Very, very balanced. Eight might about to receive the painful end of this very painful demon. There we go. Brings him out. Didyara gets double killed. They're strong as always. Oh, the metamorphosis does regen himself back. Cut the trees. There we go. Heal from Dazzle. There we go. Doctor keeps him alive. The Venge goes down to the anti mage. It was a haste rune. Even the creeps killing him, actually. Not getting the kill instead. So Didyara will port himself out. He will be safe. And meanwhile, X takes this opportunity to cut the creep wave. Tight Hunter comes in here. Says, hey, I can do the same thing too. I'm immune to creeps. You too. Dyer's Best friends, buddy. But too bad you support Radiant. Here comes the anti-mage, all oh, ninja-y and stuff. Blinks forward to act cool. Misses the last hit anyway. Not too cool. Start slow. Now the in threat and the ring of uh, ring of Aquila. He will have mana to regen up plague wards non-stop, I believe. There we go. There. So just his threats for a bit there. Now he has enough for new threats. 20 mana once again. So always a pleasure. J4, 103. Error. Sitting at 32 last hits. Venomans are sitting attack. at a very comfortable 41 and 16, 35 for the Terror Blade. And we have uh, pulls coming out here. That's gonna be Belting Rune. Picked up there by the Titan. He does have his bottle, so he just stuffs it in the bottle. Keeps it for another day. Terror Blade in Trouble Town. Did your right heals him up and it will deter any further aggression there. So Terror Blade is gonna walk away. Safe and sound. Eight Mother on the other hand is now gonna spit at one of his illusions. Illusion comes running in, says hello. Chop, 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 poison touch. 
Oh, they stun him up. They might go for him. There's the tower blade. That's a real one. That's a lot of minus armor. They dropped the poison on him. The Nidia Ra will take a bit of burn from the Viper Strike. But other than that, it's not too much. That's killing spree for the tower blade. Never ever won it. This guy is on a roll right now. Has been playing a lot of good as well. Double damage on the tower blade. Never a good news for your towers. And down they go. Pew. Plasma bolts flying out here from the tower blade. Destroying the creep wave and towers alike. And Jonas, Ring of Health. This does seem like Vanguard to me. We'll see how well Vanguard serves this guy. Because Terrorblade does not care if you have armor because he just melts you down. Madam Officer's at level 2 and 4 points in, 3 points in Conjurer image. Saving that point. Let's see if he wants to go for Sunder. Alright. Meanwhile, uh, on oh, that Tide Hunter. I forgot that 4 points in that. Uh, the anchor smash and Jonas be very very careful here the smoke can comes out here from lions they have seal kid as well as hand I mean, the disruptor does he have two points in glimpse he does yeah maybe he can glimpse it down back oh boy wrong neighborhood buddy uh, he might actually just get out of here alive just wait for your stun no stun depth grave He's dead. not making the same mistake okay? and Saving that stun for that TP, so didn't have mana anyway. Uh, anti mage walking to the bottom lane, looking for Dyer's that rune, and it will be bounty, it will attack. be money. Dyer's structures are fortified. Tyke is himself an invis. The wards are pushing, <laughs> and they're being very annoying attack. right now. They do 38 piercing damage. They're gonna sting an error for the amount of damage there. It gives them 17 gold though. It's annoying, but it's giving him gold. And now they're gonna start maybe stinging onto the anti mage and the witch doctor. Get apply that poison, that four levels in poison there on the witch doctor, really taxing his mana pool by a lot. But he does have 10 stick charges, so that's gonna be always very helpful when it comes to dealing with inner wards. Meanwhile, Ravage catches the exit. There, gush forward. Three seconds left for the gush. A lot of armor minusing here going on. There's a gush up. Ah, there's your anchor smash. Oh, they get it very nicely done. Can I feel nearly catch him? Get a gush. We'll spit him down. And X will Radiant's slip and fall. Tower is under Back attack. to the fountain. We have Kush getting that one kill on the X. They're using Ravage for it though. So there's that. But then again, you're not gonna get that many big Ravages in the game like this uh, just yet so might as well just blow it on a single kill get that momentum going get that tempo rolling J4 level 7 vengeful spirit whoa 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 level 7 vengeful spirit and well such slow he's got 1700 gold maybe go for the veil I'm not sure about the veil maybe he goes for something else you know, like a pipe uh, mechanism in this case I would say maybe mechanism pipe will not be too useful against the amount of physical damage coming out from lions uh, and anti mage battle fury, maybe. Spoking up once again. This time, Dazzle's fancy tricks will not work out for him. But never mind, they're gonna lose their hero first. Eight mother, gonna go down. There's the viper strike. They take him out. And Terrible going in there. Doesn't have thunder. Doesn't have thunder. And dunk. Down he goes, there's a class coming in there. There is no Ravage though, but there is a Anger Smash. Anger Smash always useful when it comes to this kind of things. Arrow might want to just run away. The Witch Doctor is way out of his league right now. Way out of his league. anti mage coming in there. Mono Void on the wrong guy. Gets himself gushed down. What are you doing, Arrow? Missing on that Mono Void there. Misplaying a little bit. There's a three-man call. Come on, lucky spins, lucky spins. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Are we gonna get a dunk? Nope, no dunk. But magic missile right in the face there, and a gush follow up. Hands in trouble. That was a great static bomb on three, but now he's gonna lose his life. Diving tier one tower without assistance. Never mind, they just can't walk into the wall. Not having there, there. There's the Hollow Terror. Scouts him out. Terribly wants some. Doesn't have any reflection charge. Chops him one more. Bomb. Not gonna get it. That's what happens when you don't get a point of reflection. Definitely gonna be regretting it now. Does have the gush of a speed, but not fast enough. Radiance the Shopter just really attack. peddling himself out of there, getting himself a Bracer. And speaking Radiant of which, we have the Tide Hunter getting that Blink Dagger now. The Bounty Rune uh, gonna be filling up his bottle, but that Blink Ravage initiation could be really devastating. And Ara. Ara, where's Ara? There, there we go. Ara! Overestimating the power of level 1 spell shield right there and just really not uh, understanding the amount of physical damage. Well, not, under well, not understanding, but severely over underestimating the amount of physical burst that could come out here. 
And Terrorblade, they really showed him, the anchor, you know. When it drops on your feet, spell shield or not, it's gonna hurt. And Anti-Mage found out the hard way there. Picks up himself Radiance up a Claymore, so at least now he has some extra damage from going his way. And that Mana Void did Boo Boo, uh, I think kind of cost him as well. Should have dropped it on the Dazzle, get that free kill off. But I think missed click, so something happens all the time, happens to the best of us. Uh, even catches the boar sometimes. Oh, Ape Mother is not having a good game. Gil as well. This uh, Venge might actually die. Yeah, Magic Missile, never mind. Grave! Grave is so annoying! Shashglow, getting, uh, getting, that, oh, getting that damage out, they bench in, uh, they send a bench back in there, the Howl Terror wasted completely, Dazzle survives the Static Storm because it's not that painful at this point in time, and so far the support rotations, I mean PR are playing really well, Lions are kind of getting outplayed here, like I said, PR has this way of taking down all the top teams right now, never bad against PR when they are the underdogs or the severe underdogs. Never. Well, almost never. There are exceptions Dyer's to every rule. Did you right? Just too fast fallen. for the axe. Too fast for the anti mage. Maybe some body block action could come. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Some body block action. And we stun the axe. Yeah, battle's over. Let's go. We're gonna pull them up. We're gonna fight. The call comes in. This is bad news. Swap away. Thunder. Thunder. Never mind. Mother voice. Must the mini stun. Just stopping any forms of thunder usage. And then we have the haze. Ventral spirit in a very bad spot. About to get himself down. Double kill here for Jonas, X going in, looking for one more, not gonna find it, we'll find a creep wave instead, so we'll take that one out. So Nico feeling really annoyed that his Shadow Grave is not Dyer's keeping his teammates top alive, top and now top. we're gonna have trouble for Tidehunter, we're gonna blink a wave, and Omensa just staying alive as well, that's too much, oh the gush, the old Tidehunter feeling brave, blinks away right before the tick comes in from the Battle Hunger, so um... This is just gonna be annoying for the Witch Doctor, he has to pop on his healing battery. Now we're gonna switch over to the net worth. We have 6,300 for the X, 6,000 for the Terror Blade. And so far he has been getting dunked over and over. And I gotta feel sorry for him. There are a lot of spins that will be coming out, and he got a little bit too close to the X earlier on. And with that 4 points and not counting Helix, there is little you can do. Shaftlow. This guy's Poison Nova ready. Going for Aghanim Scepter anyway, despite the anti mage. Still really strong against the rest uh, of the Squishies and Radiant's even Viper. That somehow doesn't like Poison attack. himself. Uh, will be very susceptible to this. So we'll see. Anti Mage, not a threat at this point. Really, really, really dangerous when it comes to the split pushing, but he's not anywhere near that yet. Mid Anti Mage does suffer in terms of farm due to the lack of access to jungles, I should say. Uh, no supports helping you secure every single last hit. It's very difficult when there's another mid messing with you. Viper is about to get himself ganked, and he will get himself touched by the priest. So the priest is gonna touch him up there, gonna stop him across the chasm, drop an anchor on his wing, stun him up, no need for that, just all the minus armor and the right clicks will bring him down. Hanskin in trouble as well, there's your build, very, very nice one, Ravage, oh boy, catches both supports in the river, they're gonna be buried right there, they'll stay there for the rest of their lives. Poison touch once again, X calling the vent, calling the dazzle, dazzle in trouble, stun, with the spin, that was Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And then we have the X chasing X. And then we might be a magic missile. At prolonged fights once again. Uh, proving Venomancer's worth there because the Poison Nova does take you down really low as you fight through the fight, lasting for 14 seconds. A really considerable amount of time. Uh, it does stay on you. So it just prevents blinking, drops your health really fast, and lets the enemy's teammates just finish you off. And so far, 16 and 9, we have white screen uh, PR. Just taking the lead here against Lions with 6,000 gold going their way. We have about 3,005 going in terms of the XP department. Terrorblade, 4, 2, and 3. The Ventral Spirit has been really pivotal in saving his life there. He nearly has a Manta style. Manta style, really good stuff. Oh, Venom Manta, poor guy. Mount avoided. To oblivion. And yeah, Manta style really strong for Terrorblade. Drops a uh, drop from Metamorphosis. Pops an illusion. Manta style, your tower goes down with or without him. Did Yarai sending his illusions into the jungle now? I would imagine, yeah, that he will send them into the jungle. Gonna we'll see some fighting once again. These these EU games are the best. Uh, they have so much fighting going on that you just never have a tired moment. And <laughs> Yeah, we have Vanguard Axe, Blink Axe, and now it's Blade Mill Axe on the way. Uh, Terror Blade does have his Manta style, really wants to push down some towers. He's his favorite game is Jenga. And Tidehunter, gonna be taking some of that Viper Spit for now. Hands, 
Does one really dive into that? Um, weave damage. The weave minus armor. The weave minus armor is just so, 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 so painful. And and that tight hunter going straight for that refresher of a very stylish Radiant's choice now for tight hunters in the attack. modern world. And are we gonna Radiant lift the tower? Yes, fortified. we do. We gonna port someone in? No, we aren't. Are we gonna port someone Radiant's in? Never mind. Anti mage got it. Terrorblade his brother. About to put his brother in check. Slap him. Spank him. We've got smokes. We've got weaves. We've got dead disruptors. He is so dead. And static storms airballing completely. Oh, never mind. Didn't catch him there. But there's Nack. Catching people in there. Dunk the dazzle. There'll be no second chances now. Ravage will fly. He will land on the X as well as anti mage. Not losing enough mana there. That's a good swap. Pulls them back in. There's a nice anchor smash. Anchor smash. Where's the anchor smash? Not landing the anchor smash just yet. TP out. TP out. And a second dunk. They will get him out. But the poison will tick the X down. So there's at least that going the way of the Venom So it's a nice killing spree going his way. 377 bucks, 8 mother, as well as the rest of them uh, do manage to pull off Dyer's a big kill there. Meanwhile, in terror attack. attack. And yeah, these are just illusions, mind you. They are doing so much damage there, they could just turn on arrow right now. But a Battle Fury will actually bring them down very easily, I might add. Did Yara, now going back to the jungle, has half a time on the Metamorphosis left. Hadn't really helped with the towers there, despite X been dead. Uh, but I guess he does have his safety reasons, fearing a Hex glimpse. Yeah, a glimpse is pretty bad. So, oh, haste run. 1,300 gold now on that tight hunter shot slow. He's got 360, 65. Really getting close to that Agadim Scepter. And once you get that Agadim Scepter, man, you just see people die. They just die to your ultimate. Supports are not gonna have fun against a level 3 Venomancer ultimate. Alright, let's pass the joint. We'll smoke it up. Blaze it. Going for the tight hunter here. And break, blink. Oh boy, so quick, so quick. Squiddles. Squiddles saw them. His eyes are always at the back, looking right at you. You wanna see that? You want proof? You want proof? There you go, we have proof. This guy, Squiddles. Squiddles is the real MVP. Squiddles. There you go. There's Squiddles in his eyes. Do you see it? Do you see it? Squiddles sometimes fits, run into leaves. But, you know. You stop blinking. There we go. There you see. You see his eyes? They're looking upwards, backwards in a kind of way. So, yeah, he does have the vision. He does have the vision. 30 seconds left on that Tide Hunter Ultimate. Uh, gonna have that 27 seconds left on that though before that they might have an opening for Lions to take a good fight But I don't think they will be able to so far Titan has been, been playing phenomenally and with weave anchor smash just hurts that much more Venomancer being a real pest real real pest is gonna push this wave out on its own and this is a TP bailout if he does require it. And now there's a dump on it. J4 getting caught out. There's a swap out forward. He swaps himself forward. He just wants to stun up the seal kid. And then there's the Ravage once again. This enabling that ability. All the poison comes out. Jonas taking Gale. Taking lots of damage. The minus armor as well. Where's the anchor smash? He's holding it for now. The hasted tight hunter. He's gonna get glimpsed back into the fray. Jonas Ben getting trouble. Here comes Terrorblade. It's a terrible game. The right clicks it. Taking it down. Oh, he will not take he will not take never mind tight hunter finds him we'll see the witch doctor as well that doctor is dead 19 and 14 we have the anti mage blinking down to the bottom lane and Kirsch rushing after him with the blink dagger in tow and we'll suspect the rush pit but it will not be the case but hey since we got terror blade over here let's do it we'll gush it we'll poison touch him and then we'll gush the roshan and roshan is gonna go down to dazzle Constantly poking away at him. There's gonna be a half health left. And H gonna be pushing this bottom tower on his own lonesome terror. Playing what an anti mage should do, which is still push most of the time. Unless you wanna really fight, but then you can't really fight actually. Yeah, they don't really they don't really have the tools to fight with Viper going mech instead of an Aghanim's rush. So it's gonna be very slow Aghanim's. And once he gets the Aghanim's, it gets decent. But even then, it's gonna be very, very difficult. Especially with all the DOT that's coming from their side. It's very easy to sunder it off unless you silence him or catch him in a... Catch him in a... Uh, what's his name? X. X. Uh, X spins or X calls. So. It's a different experience, that's for sure. 19 and 14, 10,000 net worth and 10,000 net worth on the Antimage brothers.
the Blade Brothers, as I'll call them. And I think Titan nearly has his, uh, nearly has the, nearly has the refresher now. Jonas, Radiance Blade Mill, Vanguard as well as the Blink Dagger, just looking for it. And Radiant looking for the neutrals now. We'll see fortified. what he decides to go for with this. Uh, maybe Aghanims would not be too bad, as he is actually doing a lot of dunking this game. Era taking some damage. Try to go for the deny there, Sineko. Uh, not going to be successful. Seal Kit versus Life Prison Observer deep into enemy territory. There's a stack on Ancients here. And uh, I hear a call. Just the Creep Wave. Yeah, just using the Creep Wave there. Uh, to actually take out the creep wave. Oh, there's a stop forward. They want to get Jonas. They want to get Jonas. There's a poison touch. They put magic missile him. Okay. 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 This game gets weirder. They poison him up. There's your Akinem Scepter though. So it could take him down. It Radiance could. Courier has been could. Killed. Radiance Courier goes down, but... Nah. Okay. This is not going to work out. Definitely not going to work out. Mechanism keeps him alive as well. So, oh well. Shashklo was hoping for it. Doesn't find it. Do they smoke up now? They have another smoke, eight mother, got hide in trees there, and smoke. Not obvious at all. There we go. Tide Hunter. Another hero very hard to get. They glimpse him back though. He got TP out. And that move. That's a lot of ulties to be using. Dunk! 19 and 15 now. 25 minutes in. We'll see that gold graph. It is um super up and down. 2005 for the radiant still. The XP has managed to maintain zero for a while now. Shot slow. Because Blink Dagger and his Agonim Scepter. So we'll be able to follow up with the 1 2 punch Radiance of middle the Vano Wards plus ulti. Radiant structures are fortified. Vano's actually so legit. Error. Now I have the Mantis style ready. We'll be able to split push as well. The minus armor coming up from Weave. Really careful. J4. 900 gold. Still no. Still no BKB, I mean, still no Blink Dagger. I love the uh, Blink Dagger on Bench, but I guess the other support items are more important, like four Staff. And what's X doing? X got 2300 gold on him, maybe want to get an Aghanims. Get that cooldown to five seconds, dunk creeps for speed, stuff like that. The scripter has got itself a Bracer, so that's, that's also good for him. And. Not going for the Aghanim's Rush as you might see some Disruptors go, but I feel it against PR it might not be a need since there are no natural BKB carriers. Oh, blink forward, jump to the Ventral Spirit and dunk! They will actually get that kill, so very unfortunate for him. Uh, it does secure the Bounty Rune though, so I hope the 50 bucks and 50 XP was worth it. It does scale a little bit more than that, so I guess that's okay. Terrorblade going there with the help of the Water Mallet for 12,000 gold. He will throw himself to that kill goal just for these. Um, so just for these ancients, and they will do a lot of damage, the heal does a lot of damage as well, and the weave even coming out for the extra protection against the creep damage. 19 and 16 now. Radiance middle tower is under attack. If you're just tuning in, this is Starlight of Season 11. It's the best of ones all the way with me right now. I stand as Janara, and... This game is a pretty important game. Unlike the previous one, but these two teams still have chances into that top four position. And now Terrorblade about to get himself caught in a bad, bad play. DRI could actually go for the Sunder here. Yeah, Sunder him up. There it go. Metamorphosis. Slow him down. Maybe slow him down. Where's the slow? Okay. No slow, but we're gonna send demons your way. Not even that, we're gonna send the demons into the water. They can take a bath. Uh, error. Now pick up the Mantis style of his own. Silences are gonna be pretty pointless, except for the Disruptor one. Uh, but even then, that's not the right team. There's a the Tower Blade. Oh, getting casket up then. He is dead. Aegis. He loses his, uh, he loses his metamorphosis, so terribly not the best Aegis carrier, but he loses his, uh, Aegis before it expires, so I don't think it's that bad. Four staff now done for Dazzle, playing like a team player, could have gotten that Aghanim Scepter, but chose for not four staff instead. Okay, we're just pushing mid now, with the Terrorblade in tow, he's not doing any split pushing, it's a little bit too dangerous with the X. Constantly calling him and causing trouble. Refresh Rob is done for the Tide Hunter. 
Regeneration. On top of that, we don't really have a lot of natural BKB carries for like the Legends as well or the Lions since they want to get other items, which Doctor may be core, but you need Agonist first. And this could be the last guy, but I don't think so. So, Steel Kit, he's not farming as greedy as the last guy and not doing it as well. Agonist Chapter 4 x called it. Scardy for the Terror Blade, that's very very fast farm, still need that BKB, BKB is kind of core on uh, on these heroes, it prevents you from magic, I mean you might be resistant but you're not uh, resistant to disables and physical damage so now anti mage has to play it a little bit more safe, don't really want to dive into lines there, kill people off thinking, uh, thinking your support can save you, even if there's a dazzle on board I'll tell him not to, so error just taking risks, the calculated risk, he could pay off for him, it could not, he can have his eagle song now if he wishes, so he blinks, funny, oh no he didn't, just blinks into the hole here, and you gotta go in, not even going for that, not even going for the ancient stack, taking that tier 1 tower instead, anti-mage, just being a real path test, he's on 700 gold, we'll see if Tyrant Blade or anti-mage do it, but anti-mage cutting the way from behind, is it a legit strategy? Cut away from behind Dyer's and you do as many, do as many uh, creep wave attack. damages as you can. Now I'm going to TP back. He stalled the creep wave by one push. And Radiant's now we'll see if that can matter a lot to them because. There's a rabbit go! Blink forward! Gets them all! In a big wombo combo! The refresher off as well! PR! Catch them with their pants down! Lejon! All lions! They pop their BKB on the anti mage, but is it enough? Is it enough? They get stuck! They get poisoned! That's two down! Four down! That was sudden! Everything was quiet and suddenly watermelon! Everyone just took a fall there! Anti mage saved by his shield! His BKB coming at the nick of time, but did Yara say, I will take their barracks! Oh boy, oh boy, that was really quick, even I was taken off guard, that was super super powerful with that double ravage, surprise, surprise, and arrow. he popped that BKB charge, but really that only saved him a little moment of grief, and well, Terrorblade, he is going in to get that tower damage, and just the illusions alone drop that down to two thirds of its life, uh, the anti-mage, Managed to push the creep wave over here, but Didiara is back here to deal with business and with his Scotty on board, skipping reflection. I'm not sure I agree, uh, but I guess he didn't really need it. When you just sit there and right click people, I guess you don't really need it. Uh, just gets one for that initial slow, but I think more points than this could be justified. But hey, it's his game. He wants more stats, and I kind of disagree with the axe just constantly being a pain. Uh, we'll look at his show fight recap. So fancy stuff. Fancy. Net worth still sitting at 16,000 is the Terror Blade, and they're gonna smoke. Gonna smoke, they see Venomous Wards, Johns, or Lions. They're not gonna suspect anything, or are they? Did Yara, he knows what's up. He's got double damage as well. Uh, they're gonna catch Tidehunter. Tidehunter getting caught out. There is your Mana Burn as well. There's your Regush. Nope, no need for that. Mana Void blows him up. Error will secure that nice, nice kill. On the watermelon. A little bit of revenge coming here. J4, J4. Ah, oh boy. Choo, 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 choo. Dunk. Uh, dunk unnecessary, but dunk anyway. Hera. 23 and 19 now. Marching into the tier 2 tower. They will look to bring it down. We Radiance have Terror Blade here with double damage. He could attack. look to do the same. Go for the base renovations, as I like to call it. And I highly doubt Lion's ability to push them into this. Radiant's middle tower has Era. fallen. Could be backing up for now. Agon accepts a nearly completed here for Viper. Fallen. He doesn't use his double damage. Terrorblade still holding on to the Rune of Destiny there, using only normal illusions to knock down the knock down the tier two tower. And now they're just gonna fade away and Hanskin. Disruptor doesn't seem to be the game he is actually known. But then, yeah, not many people do play Disruptor nowadays, so... What's this guy doing? Eight Mother, just hanging around, floating about as I would say. And not really doing that much. J4, he's got Ghost Scepter, so at least he's uh, immune to most of the physical damage. The, the ward 
Uh, X calls... Spi X spins the call, he still hears them even in ghost form. He comes angry ghost and tries to tickle the axe. But Era, not wanting to risk his life anymore. I mean, seeing that they are willing to blow ravages on his life. And now we have two again. So we got double ravage once again, ready to be cast. And Power Rangers, man. Power Rangers love to be able to take down the Titans that are Lions or Lejons. And so far, they're in the lead by a bare four points. The net worth is pretty close. We're gonna, we're gonna, do, we're gonna do some tag team action here, I think. Yeah, Vano is gonna follow me. And we're gonna go and smoke. Alright, we're gonna smoke up here. We're gonna go gank. See if the tight with us. Tides with us. All right, so we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, ultimates ready. No, they're just gonna smoke into Roshan. All right, PR making the build play Radiant's here, going with the Scotty, just chopping Roshan while the rest stand guard in smoke. Pretty clever, as I say. Oh, there we go, jumping forward, disruptor in a wrong, wrong place. Two B, that's gonna get spat in the face. Sunflow will pick him off instead here. Aegis. Gonna go to the turret lane once again. He might sell his bottle at long last, give up quickly. He will yeah, drop the bottle on the ground. Not even gonna sell it. That is the. That is some. Oh, that is some talent. That is some talent. Now it's gonna come down middle. And Jonas does have, does have his acronym scepter, so he can dunk people every five seconds. We'll see if he does that. This is more difficult than. Uh, then you actually think it is. You need to drop everyone down low, and anti mage he just lost his ward up there, so want to be very careful. The push coming in middle, once again drawn by the line by Terrorblade. No, it's not Terrorblade. All right, so. maybe it's Terrorblade. Could be anti mage as well. They're all waiting there in the wait, in the woods. So let's clear up this wave. And which doctor? Does he have their acronym something? No, he does not. Eight mother does have his axe, so that's at least going for them. Hey mother. Got the He's got all the team groups up here. PR. They're looking for an engagement now. Any wrong step here from uh from Lions and they could get double ravage and team wiped once again. Kish Kish Rat. Is that Kishrat? Is that his name? Kishrat? Oh, Kishrat. Now sometimes these names, they frustrate me so much. And which Doctor, you can just not get an LT off in peace. Oh, the swap exceed there, actually. Magic Missile, Reflection, you're not running away. Doctor, good dodge there from the Metamorphosis. Dodges that ability. Tied up with the Ravage. Once again, catches the back line. Refresh off. There will be no running away. Oh, never mind. Safe spell. No mana, actually. Just kidding. And now he's going to fight away with a mother. Is there going to be a mana bird or is there going to be more mana coming his way? Better Metal goes down. Terror Blade still in the fight. There's your second Ravage. Keep them down. Keep them down for now. Jonas in trouble. Gets Magic Missile up. Terror Balance. Ice Balls for everybody. Triple kill. Gonna be looking for hands. There's the Viper try and keeps him down. And they will actually pick up the anti mage. Sunder, 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 anti mage. Oh boy, ultra kill. Where's my rampage? Give me that rampage. Not gonna happen. Or maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Rampage! Oh boy, did Yara. <laughs> Oh well, what you can't do, do it with illusions. That's the miracle mantra right there. He clones up himself. There's your metamorphosis. Cloning it right at, at the right spot, so use it twice. If you metamorphosis and mental right after, you can't get two sets of mental illusions out of your metamorphosis. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that damage. No, 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 don't try it. Okay, they got bashed. Oh, swap out. Magic Missile, smack him in the face. Oh boy, that did a lot of damage. Thunder once again, Arrow feeling the pain of his brother's Ability. Just so good. Wishing he didn't give up magic now because that sort of magic is kind of good magic. And now did Yara going up against 8 mother. He does have the Aegis. He really wants to respawn. There's going to be the minus armor coming in here. They're going in. Gonna kill Arrow comes back. There's the Viper Strike slowing him down. Four stop. Keeps him out. Keeps him out. They're going to weave up. They're going to fight him. Arrow now going to pop his BKB. Oh, that void. Woo! Two gems to the ground. Two gems to the ground. Good glimpse. Keeps him in play. Keeps him in play. Eight mother saves. Hey guys, pick the gems up. Pick the gems up. One for each. Each eye. One for each eye, fellas. One for each eye. Looks like the courier will be sent on cleanup duty. It will be the ape mother. I got it. I got it. Funny. Aperini. Yeah, funny stuff. Kishret. Is that Kishret? Kishret. 
Yeah, it's gonna go for a Shiva's God now. Get 2,000 gold. It's gonna find up the Ancients. We have Shark Glow with the Hex as well as the Agon Intercept. So lots of disable, lots of damage. Oh, it's Cheshire Cat. Okay, got it. <laughs> I've been going Chish. Cush, right? I'm so long. Okay, that's what it meant. Alright, check that. Okay, got it. I got it. That's gonna be a call down here in the middle lane. The Aghanim Scepter is really... Really? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing this Aghanim Scepter build. I mean, not, not really working out for him. It's got nice stats and everything, but I have not seen him do multiple dunks. Uh, the kill threshold is 625. It's good enough for Venge, I guess. Let's get him half health. But the main problem is... He could be using it to dunk creeps to get faster, I guess. I don't know. Maybe dunk illusions as well. Could be possible. Dunk Terrorblade. He has not been able to dunk Terrorblade. I think that's the most important thing. Witch Doctor. Seal Kit. Oh, they're gonna fight Tide Hunter. Run, Tidy, run. Oh, they see Intimate. Run away. Ah, uh, they see him. Blink. Run. Casket. Casket, Ravage, nope, Ravage, Ravage. Nah, never mind. Just die. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, X. Now gonna run forward now with the double damage in tow. The Tide Hunter did off laner. Shouldn't be off laner at this point in the game. Getting caught out for himself. Shush Glow. Gonna be farming it up. He does have a lot of farm on his Venom So the net worth sitting at 15,000. But the anti mage is richer. Error somehow manages to find a farm all day, early. day. But hit level 25 now. Uh, 7, 2, and 9. The mana void earlier on was brutal. And Dazzle. Now, um, hiding the back lines. 2, 4, and 22. Hasn't died as many times as I thought he would. Bad to the Venge, who is now 4 and 7. Error. Now gonna fight his brother once again, who also has a butterfly. So this is gonna be a battle of the bladers. And yeah, Terrorblade just doing his old good attack. old rat, doing a lot of damage to this Rex. Whoa, this guy is so good at damaging Rex. This is Hanskin. Uh, hand scan is gonna be on that disruptor. Pick up the point booster. It's about 800 gold away from his agonims. That'll be really big. Uh, they're looking for targets. They're looking for targets. We'll find them. We'll find them. Oh, doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Run, doctor, run. Oh, Dazzle in a lot of trouble. Bye bye, Dazzle. Swaps him out. Okay. To keep him alive. Nope. It will not happen. No, it will not. Rich Doctor dropping down. Where's the side of the Where's the watermelon? Watermelon needs to build him out right now. X doing it good. But never mind. Here comes the watermelon. Builds him out. Tentacle one. Tentacle two. Double kill for the side hunter. Error. Getting slowed down by the eye of Scotty. Getting slowed down there. And there's a gosh. Slowing down further. Manta's away. Picks up the regen rune. In your face, Andy. Arrow gonna run away now. Gonna blink. No, nope. He's safe. He's safe. He might want to come in for a re-engagement here. Ventral Spirit dropping low. Mana Void. Uh, nap. Stay here. Stay here. Gush and Arrow. Arrow has forced to run away. Will he be able to get out here in time? Yeah, he will just CP out of there. He lost his entire squad there with the double rabbit. Tight onto the water battle. Building him out once again. And Terrorblade stays alive. 12. Three and nine. This is the reason why people ban this hero because it's so damn good. He drops the Manta style once again with the perfect timings on the Manta style and that metamorphosis timing. Just remember to Manta right after your metamorphosis and you will have enough time to use it twice. So, two sets of illusions and look at this. Uh, Terror marching in. Terror marching in. One little, two, Dyer's little, three. Little terrors. Four, little, five, little, six. Okay, you get it. Rex is going down just to illusions. Dropping very low now. About to lose two sides of Rex's. Power Rangers looks like they're gonna do it against Lions. Cheshire Cat. I got him's name right now. Cheshire Cat. <laughs> ah, well. Plate Mill. Now the Shiva's got. Okay. Refresh your orb. And the Ravage. All available. We have Shashlo. That's got his Siphon Vice Agonim Scepter. Didn't really change it there. Maybe get a Veil of Discord. Could do a lot more damage than that. Did Yara? I don't know what he really wants to get now. Boots of Travel will be good, actually. Boots of Travel, uh, Monkey King Bar for his brother. Or he could just ignore Anti Mage altogether. Uh, there is now two minutes left on that Roshan timer before it respawns. And what will we see? What will we see? Did Yara? 2008. His name is cool. I'm going to call him Ra. Ah, oh, it's always cool. 
Cheshire Cat. Just gonna be hanging in the back lines there. His tight hunter has been pretty phenomenal so far. Lions looking to looking to try and pull something back. That's a double damage rune. That's a good opportunity. Error. Now with the double damage, could look for some big, big kills. But the Ravage coming off cooldown in 4 seconds. 45 for the Refresher. The double Ravage could come before the engagement actually begins. So this could be huge. They're just hanging back. They want that double Ravage. The BKB, the only BKB on Era. This is problematic as they would get hit multiple times. And both teams are pretty balanced in terms of farm, I believe. Nope, the goal is still favoring the Radiant though. And the experience is nearly the same. So this game is pretty much the balance of it. Maybe there's one big item off that shouldn't be there on the Radiant side. I would say the Venge and the Venomans are picking up those support items. But, you know, the Shrapter is setting on a lot of dough as well. So I'm... Not sure where the money discrepancy is coming from. Maybe buybacks. Not sure I remember seeing any kind of buybacks uh, right now. And yep, once again, the Illusion's going in there. There's a swap there. And the instant hack onto the X. And he's getting called out there. And the Ravage follow up. This is so over. Refresher Ravage once again. They blow up a mother. He is dead. Error as well. BKB getting pounded there by the Terror Blade. All the Scotty strikes are going in. Dak buys back into the game, trying to buy it, bring it back. J4 goes into the goes into the Ghost Scepter form and X goes down for a second time. Did ya raw? Terror Blade in the house. 300 plus 162 balance in all things. And 39-27. GG well played Lions. They tap out. They know it's darn over. What is this? Too much sun. Uh, must be. I don't know about the joke here, but I'm not catching the joke, but that was crazy. It happened so fast, the quick swap, the four stop, the swap. I guess I'm actually seeing the value of Venture Spirit now. I mean, it's it's like your Batrider in a sense. She sacrifices herself in that sense of the word, but if you get a Hex real quick like the Venomancer did, and the Titan just follows up with the Ravage, prevents advancement of the teammates, it's just so powerful.